Alex and Bob, in the iconic Badlands where you're currently shooting your video. So tell me all about this. Well, the song is for a, a, is a single called Audacious. And uh, for the video, we wanted to capture the idea of what it's like to be backstage. I think people have this idea of backstage being this incredibly exciting place where anything could happen, or magical almost. Which is what it is. Which is what it is, obviously. <laughs> so when we, when we want to step it up a level and just and really run with it. So in other words, just make it pretty what? much what backstage well, is like at one of our games. What our backstage is like. <laughs> yeah. In the barras, we've had some amazing yeah. parties here after gigs. That bit backstage is amazing. It's like the so dressing cool. room is yeah. cool, isn't yeah. it? Can you remember the first time you played here? Yes. When yeah, was it? Yeah. it uh, was it like the end of 2004? Well, that was our first time we headlined. It yeah. would have been in autumn. I, I think I'm gonna say October 2004. It was like three nights. Um, yeah. And then on, on one of the days in the middle, we in the afternoon we did a matinee show for under 15s. Which was amazing. amazing. One Why? of my favourite gigs ever. Why? It was, yeah. like, the, the audience were incredible. And it was like, your tip, you know the barrel ends, it has, it has an amazing sound when you go on stage and everybody goes, whoa. Yeah. But it was like that, but like pitched up two octaves. It was, yeah, it was so, mm. so good. What special memories of being here, seeing Franz Ferdinand, and I'm pretty sure I met your uh, dad, Alex, oh, yes. at the bar, and he was so proud. Oh, that's so, amazing. So, so chuffed. It was really cute. The, the funny thing is, like, like when the family come, they always sit up there. So that's where the mixing <laughs> desk is. So when I'm standing up there on the stage, I can see my dad really clearly, like my <laughs> mum and dad sitting up there. And I always see my dad getting into it. And he's always kind of like, <laughs> in time to the music. Yeah, in time to the music. It's really, really yeah. nice. But at the same time, it, it just brings me back to like being like five years old in the school yeah. nat nativity play or something like that. It like completely pierces the kind of like, like the, the bubble of rock star aura that you might have around yeah. about you. Dad was terrible for like reading absolutely everything about the band and quoting it back at me like, so you've fallen out with Liam Gallagher again? <laughs> Aside from Battlelands, you're about to hit the road on a pretty cool Scottish tours. We haven't played a gig for a while now. I mean, like it'd be a year by the time, over a year by the time we do these shows. We wanted to get back into the swing of things and and play some some shows around Scotland. So we're playing in Dumfries and uh, Stirling, Stirling Strath yeah. and Strath. How do you pronounce it, Strath? Strathpeffer. Strathpeffer. No? Yeah. yeah, which is a very picturesque. Yes. Place. And I saw you a few years ago, I think it was the Rum Shack. Small, it was sweaty, it was intimate. It was brilliant. Yeah. Do you like those gigs where people oh, can get Oh, yeah, up yeah, I love that. Because that's the kind of shows that we're always playing when we started off. And you, I think you get a really intense kind of buzz from those sort of gigs when, when people are right up in your face. It feels very physical, very visceral. It's, yeah, it's really good. The song's in the back catalogue now and we're quite quite lucky that we can just play the ones that we like playing live now. So yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it, it, it is, it's great. You know, like, I, it's, it's really fun to play a song and see the mm. recognition in, yeah. in, in the audience and just know that there's, yeah, you, you just feel it. You, yeah, know, you, you very much feed off the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think when, when we're in rehearsal rooms, you know, we don't, you know, it's just, you're just plodding through, just banging them out, just to make sure you can remember them. Um, but then when you play in front of an audience, that's when, you know, I really savour that. So many things have gone over the years, so many brilliant gigs. And then you kind of changed up the lineup brought in like the likes of the lovely Audrey, yes, Gillian, yeah. Dino. How has that been adding that mix into the band? Oh, it's great. You know, like th this is the first album that we properly recorded with uh, Audrey and Dino and Julian played on the last record as well. But we've been touring with all three of them for quite a long time now. And they're amazing musicians, you know, like they're absolutely fantastic. And uh, the energy that they bring to the band is yeah, wonderful. Can we expect then another tour on the cards from Franz Ferdinand after this if we're doing smaller venues at the moment? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, we're, that's, we're a band, we play shows. I'd like to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for an exclusive pair of Yeah, yeah. Well, there's going to be a new album in the new year and uh, so, yeah, we'd love to tour and play those songs because, you know, it's, it's great to play those, the old bangers, but uh, it's also great to show some people some new things as well, yeah. so yeah. can't wait. It would be good to play here, wouldn't it, Bob? I mean, that would be, be great if we could play here. Around about That's March sort of time. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. I love Just it. on the off chance, you know. Yeah. Like. I'll, keep my, I'll keep my diary open. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> In case we can Me manage too. it. Yeah, yeah. I just want an invite to the after party now. Oh, yeah. After that, you, you pick that up now. Yeah.